This is my problem statement. A circle of 50 mm diameter rolls along a straight line without slipping. Trace the path of a point on the circumference of rolling circle for complete revolution. Name the curve. So how we know that the problem is of cycloid? Circle is rolling over a straight line without slipping. So this will be a cycloidal problem. Diameter of the rolling circle is 50 mm. So radius will be diameter divided by 2 that is 25 mm. Now for one complete revolution the circle will travel how much distance? Circle will travel distance is equal to its circumference that is 2 pi r. So my path length will be 157 mm. First, I want to show the theory behind how we are drawing the cycloid. Then we will construct the cycloid. Now first, I will draw a circle of 50 mm diameter. At the end of the circle, I will locate point P. From point P, I will draw the path of 157 mm. Now next step would be, I will be dividing the path and circle both into eight equal parts. So using roller scale, the method is given in the previous video. I will paste the link in the description. You can check it. So these are my eight parts which are equal parts. I have divided circle into eight equal parts. Now I want to locate the locus of point P or I can say point 1. Now the circle's center is C1 and while the circle will move clockwise direction the center will move in this red line. Now when circle is rotating in clockwise direction this will be the in instantaneous point. When point this point 2 comes to this point 2. When they match, point 1 will move towards this point. Okay, it will be similar to point 8. And the center will move to C2 point. Again, when this 3 point connects with this third point, it will look like this. Point 1 will move towards this point, and center will be C3. For next, all the points same procedure will happen 4 is connected with 4 center will be c4 and point 1 will move towards upward direction now this will be the center point of the path so at the center point 1 will be at the upward topmost point now again as the circle will move further in clockwise direction the point a will be coming towards downward direction so when 6 connecting with 6, 7 is connecting with 7, 8 is connecting with 8 and finally point 1 will come to its original shape. Okay, This will be my final point, point 1. So as you can see, as you can see all the blue points that is point 1. So if I connect all the lines, my curve will be like this. If I highlight the curve, this will be my curve. This is called cycloidal curve. Now there are two major things that you have to consider from this theory. That whenever point 2 is matched with point 2, then point 1 will be moving. It will go to the line passing from point 2 as you can see here point 2 is connected with 2 so position of 1 will be on the line of point 2 also its distance from center will be same here distance between c1 and 1 is 25 mm here distance between c2 and 1 that will be also 25 mm when 3 is connected to 3 if you see 3 is connected to 3 then point 1 will move towards the line of point 3 on the line of point 3 point 1 will be there 4 is connected to 4 
point one will be on the line horizontal line of point four. For all cases, this will be the same scenario. Second observation is when point two is connected with horizontal paths point two center will be exactly at upward so this will be my c2 when 3 is connected with 3 center will be at c3 okay these are main two discoveries that we have find now i am going directly to the solution part so first step will be draw the circle of 50 mm diameter this will be my circle of 50 mm diameter next step locate point p at the end of circle so this is my point p from point p i will draw the path of 157 mm now i will divide the line and circle both into eight equal parts for that i am drawing 80 mm line at any angle this angle can be anything but the line should be 80 mm next step is divide the line into eight equal parts this 80 mm line I can easily divide into 8 equal parts. Each part will be of 10 mm. I will be giving number from point 1, 2, 3 up to point 9. Now connect point 9 with the end point of 157 mm line. Now from this line using roller scale I will draw the parallel lines from each point. So you can get point from point 8, point 7, point 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there are 8 equal divisions. I am giving the numbers point 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and last point will be 1. Why 1? Because after one revolution point one will come towards its initial position so this will be my point one now to divide circle into eight equal parts the complete circle is of 360 degree i want to divide it into eight equal parts so 360 degree divided by eight parts that will give you 45 degree so each part will be of 45 degree so using protector I can easily divide circle into eight equal parts okay now this will be my point one so this will be point two three four five six seven eight remember one thing I will give numbering opposite to the rotating direction circle is rotating in clockwise direction so my numbering will be in anti-clockwise direction now from each point of the circle I will draw the horizontal line so from point 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I will draw the horizontal line line of point 8 and 2 will be equal 7 and 3 will be equal 4 and 6 will be equal next is the center of the circle I will name it C1 okay this red line will be the locus of center means whenever the circle is rotating center will be always on this line now from point 2 draw vertical line point 3 draw vertical line for all the points i will draw the vertical line up to the locus of center point 2 is connecting with point 2 as we see earlier the center will be at c2 point same c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 at last the circle is coming at its initial position so c1 is here c1 is here point 1 is here point 1 is here now very important part how to draw the cycloid now first take a rounder and take c1 as a center the radius i will take is c1 to a that is 25 mm so from rounder take the radius 25 mm now I will take the center C2 and draw the arc on the line of 2. This is the line of point 2. So on this line same radius 25 mm draw one arc on left side. So this will be my arc. The length radius of arc will be 25 mm. Now center is C3. Draw the arc on the horizontal line of point 3. Center is C4. 
draw the arc on the horizontal line of point 4 center is c5 draw the arc on the horizontal line of point 5 now center is c6 draw the arc on the horizontal line of 6 on the right side c7 draw the arc on line of 7 c8 draw the arc on line 8 and finally c1 as a center this will be my arc so these are the points that i have got intersecting points between arc and the line if i connect all these points i will get my curve finally write down the name of the curve that is cycloid so your cycloid is done so this was the video regarding the normal cycloid in the next video i will be covering epicycloid and hypocycloid stay tuned if you like the video please press the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you